Well, reaction ranges from disappointment to anger to a sense of betrayal. Many of the customers here who live in this Southside neighborhood say that they were thrilled when the Whole Foods Market first opened, creating uh, less of a food desert in this area. They were happy about the promise that the store made to them to provide them with fresh fruits and vegetables and produce. But now they say they feel like they were lied to. For customers of the Whole Foods Market in Inglewood, like John Moten, the announced closing is like a slap in the face. For a store to be like this here in the community, it's a devastating blow to our community. This afternoon, a spokesperson for the organic grocer confirmed the shuttering of the Southside location along with its DePaul University shop. And in a statement writes, we have made the difficult decision to close six stores. We are supporting impacted team members through this transition and expect that all interested eligible team members will find positions at our other locations. The two local closures are among six stores being closed out of the more than 530 locations of the nationwide grocery chain owned by Amazon. First opened in 2016, the 63rd Street Food Store was open in what was once a food desert, promising to bring healthier food choices to the area. Then Mayor Rahm Emanuel and the city committed over $10 million in tax breaks to help make the store reality. The store employed around 100 people. Community leaders at the Resident Association of Greater Inglewood are raged, say they worried the store would close. We knew that this store wasn't a store that was supposed to gain a lot of profit. We are in a food apartheid here, and this was a very um, a corporate responsibility decision that was done. In a statement, a spokesperson for Leon Walker, managing partner of DL3 Realty, the builder responsible for developing Inglewood Square, says Walker is confident another grocer will take over the space, saying there is too much investment and so much momentum. The underlying business case is still solid. Meanwhile, Dion Dawson, who founded Dion's Chicago Dream, a non-for-profit addressing food insecurity in the neighborhood, says this could be an open door for more opportunities. We have a delivery program, Dream Deliveries, where we're delivering 11,000 pounds in more than 19 Chicagoland areas because we can't continue to be reactive to a company closing shop and moving. Now, the alderman for this ward where the store sits says she this is very disappointing and calls it a corporate failure. The mayor of the city also called it very disappointing in terms of when this will close. Well, we're told that the Inglewood store may not close for several more months. The DePaul location could close as early as next week. Many of the folks out here very angry because they say just as they're announcing the closure of this particular store two days ago, they opened a huge location, Whole Foods, at Chicago and State. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.